What are the costs associated with buying a home? Let's find out. All right, in the beginning, during your search, before you actually find the one, you're gonna do a lot of things that cost you more time than money. But you'll be out, you'll be driving neighborhoods, you'll be spending money on gas and snacks, because you gotta have snacks, right? And you'll be doing your online search, so that costs you some time. And it's a process of elimination. So as you're weeding through homes and listings after listings online and going to see neighborhoods, it's gonna cost you a little bit of time, but not a whole lot of money in the beginning. In this first part, you're actually also applying for your loan unless you're paying cash for the home. So there might be some fees associated with this, but check with your lender to get a good list and a clear list of what those are. But they could be things like uh, your credit check fee, um, paying for overnighting of documents, or maybe a loan application fee. But again, check with the lender because they'll give you a complete list. In North Carolina, when you write a contract or an offer to purchase on a home, you put down a due diligence fee at that point. This is a negotiable amount of money between you, the buyer, and the seller, and it's money you need to have cash on hand because when you write this check or use this cash, it goes directly to the seller and they can do whatever they want with it. They can go to Vegas if they want. Now, if you back out of the deal, they keep the money. If you move forward and close on the home, it's a credit at closing, just taken off of the sales price. But this fee buys you a window of time, a negotiable amount of time for you to do your due diligence, do your home inspection, do a structural inspection if need be, inspect the HVAC, the electrical, the roof, do a pest inspection, a radon inspection, anything you want, but all of these are gonna cost money too. And this is a fee that you pay at the time of that service. Now, an earnest money deposit is another way, another potential fee, another way of showing strength in your offer. But talk to your real estate agent about how to best utilize due diligence and earnest money, depending on what kind of market you're in. Within your offer, you have the ability to ask for personal property from the seller, things like refrigerators, washers, dryers. And keep in mind that if you don't already have these on hand, that's going to be money that you have to spend later. Once you're under contract, there may be other loan associated fees and costs that come up. So you want to have great communication with your lender, but things like an appraisal fee, a survey fee, a loan origination fee. Find out what has to pay, be paid before closing in cash and what can be paid at closing rolled into everything else. And at the closing table, there are more fees that come up that get added to your closing disclosure, okay? Things like your prorated taxes for the length of time that you're going to own the home that year, prepaid interest on your loan, um, HOA fees, uh, the monthly fee that the HOA charges, but also there might be a fee that is required to transfer the property or sometimes a working capital fee that you pay basically into the HOA reserves so that the HOA money is never really in doubt title insurance, the recording of the deed, and then even the fee to actually have the closing attorney close the loan. Work with a good agent that will help guide you through all of this because there's so much more that goes into it than just the sales price of a home. And you wanna be prepared well and know what you're getting into, especially in a strong seller's market like this, so you can go out there and you can win.